Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can use Postman to perform request to an API. Now, this is not really related to any particular technologies like iOS or web development or Android development, but I believe that Postman is extremely important or some sort of a tool like Postman, like Insomnia or some other networking tool. Because sometimes what happens is that you are you have an API and you're trying to access it from an Android app or an iOS app and you start just writing the code like URL session dot share dot something something. It will be a much better idea if you start using Postman just to make sure that the URL or the API even works or not. So I have already installed Postman app. You can search for Postman app on Google and download the app. And I have also created few different routes. You can see different routes over here, which is just for a custom API. So let me go ahead and see how this works. So if I go ahead and change this URL to, let's say, foo, I can get this result. So let's go ahead and change the URL. Or how can I access it uh, from Postman? If it's a get URL, then it's actually pretty simple to access because you can simply put it inside your Chrome browser or anything in the URL, and that is simply going to work. So if I just pass in foo, I can get back the result. You can see the ID over here. Now, one thing that people don't realize about Postman is that it can also provide you with the actual code that will be needed in many different languages. So if you look over here, there is the option of code and if I go ahead and click on code, it opens up and it also shows me code to invoke the same exact URL, which is this one, the one that we used with Objective-C, but you can also change it to Go language, JavaScript, Node.js. Uh, I don't think it has, oh, here it is. It has Swift also right over here. So you can see, you can also use Swift to invoke the URL. So if you're looking for the generated code, you can definitely use that approach also. Let's go ahead and see that how we can invoke the post URL because these are the type of URLs that you cannot just invoke using a simple browser. You have to use some sort of a networking tool. So our AP, the URL is slash API slash register. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna change this to slash API slash register. And obviously this is a post URL, so we need to change the get to post. There we go. Now we are sending in JSON with the keys, which will be username and password. So we have to set the request content header type, which is content type. And we're gonna set it to application JSON. The body is where you can provide either the form data, if you are filling out a form, or form URL encoded, maybe the values are encoded in the URL, raw or binary. I'm gonna select raw because I would like to actually write JSON myself. I need to pass in the username and password. So let's go ahead and create these keys. I'm gonna say username, and I'm gonna say whatever, John Doe and for a password, and this has to be valid JSON. If it is not valid, then you can see right over here, it is telling you this is not valid. So this is not the JavaScript object that you're writing. You are writing valid JSON. Once again, make sure that the URL is correct. Also make sure that it is set to post. Content type is application JSON in the header. Set the body, and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and send it. And here is what we get back, which is the expected result. So you can see that by using a networking tool like Insomnia or by using a networking tool like Postman, you can easily check the result of your API calls. And this can be very, very instrumental, very, very helpful. If you are using third-party APIs, uh, maybe some company created the API, and they wanted to know that what exactly is going on or you wanted to consume that API, uh, then you can definitely use Postman. 
If it works in Postman, then there is a very high probability that it's also going to work when you are invoking it in your Android app, in your web app, in your iOS app. And once again, you can check out the code for this. So now, this might not be the most latest, greatest way of performing a request, but it does provide you with some code that you can definitely use. And when we are doing the post, you can even see that it is updated to reflect that. It is passing those parameters as post. So it's pretty cool. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and you should start using Postman or any other networking tool like Postman whenever you are testing out the APIs. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see that I have many different courses covering many different technologies, including Surf UI, testing iOS app using behavior-driven development, MVVM design pattern, RX Swift, AR Kit, Combine, Flutter, blockchain, machine learning, and so much more. Now, the best way to get these courses is to check out the YouTube description and you will find the links in the description. I highly encourage you to use the YouTube description links because if you use those links, those are referral links and it will allow me to get a higher revenue. Thank you so much for your continuous support and I really hope that you have enjoyed the video.